Welcome back to CSS for Beginners. In this video tutorial we're going to be focusing on the importance of a good folder structure. And a lot of designers, um, well a lot of developers that are just starting in web design take for granted that setting up a good folder structure is something that is simple. And, and it is, it's something uh, very simple in fact. However, if you don't consider it from the offset, you're going to find yourself in some sticky situations. And so, actually, a lot of people consider the aesthetics in designing those and the layout of pages and designing those, but not too many people think about the design of the folder structure. So, we're going to keep it very basic at this level, but I just want you to appreciate that if you're building a very complex website, then the folder structure is something important that you need to consider in your design. So let's go over to a new blank screen and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder and that new folder I'm going to call website. Now this folder is going to contain everything that is inside my website because at the end of the day that's all a website is. It's just a folder um, on a server that someone accesses using the internet and using the world wide web. They access that folder and they browse through the pages that are inside that folder. And again those, those, those pages have an extension uh, usually of .html and that's how your web browser reads them. So people will browse inside this folder and they will see .html pages through their web browser and they will be rendered with pictures and, um, and text and possibly you know movie files as well. However, behind that folder structure you need um, a good hierarchy of folders and so what I always do in my website is the first two folders that I start with are images so I tend to have a folder inside my website folder called images where I will store most of my images and another new folder I always create is a CSS folder and this is the folder that will store all of my styles which is what we're talking about in these video tutorials so I might have many CSS files and I will store them inside this folder and then here, in this area, is where I will store all my HTML files. So I've got my folder structure. Now what I need to do, um, I use um, a web developing piece of software called Dreamweaver to build my website. But again, there are other applications available and you can even build a website in something like Notepad. And if you go and search YouTube for uh, HTML videos, I've got a few on there as well you can go and see how you create HTML files in something like Notepad. But again, I'm using Dreamweaver, so the first thing I need to do is I need to manage my sites and I need to set up a new site. So I'm going to call this site, um, I'll just call it website underscore CSS and I'm going to tell Dreamweaver where the local site folder is. And just so you don't get confused about this, all I'm doing at this stage is telling Dreamweaver where that folder is. Because again, like I said, that folder is my website, so Dreamweaver needs to know where it is. So I click on here, and I'm just going to say, well, it's on the desktop, and it's called website, and this is the folder, so choose it. So now Dreamweaver knows where my website is. I press save, I press done, and you can see that Dreamweaver has imported um, this file structure. Okay, so website with a folder called images and CSS inside it. And here we go. This is a folder called website CSS um, with CSS and images folder inside it. Notice that the site is called website CSS. However, the folder is uh, on my desktop and it's the website folder. So the website CSS is what I actually called the site and the folder itself is actually called website. So don't get confused by that. So all I've done at the minute is I've set up a folder structure on my desktop and I've told my uh, web development application where that folder is. Now the next thing you'll do is you'll start creating the pages and putting those into your folder structure. So I'm just going to create a basic HTML page and if I just split the design and the code up here. Again this is just the beauty of Dreamweaver. I can code if I want and just hard code. I can just design using a WYSIWYG interface. What you see is what you get. Or I can split my code and I can work, uh, split my code and my design and work on both. This is the, this is the view that I actually tend to, to work in. Why? Because I learned HTML by using this. I can write things in here 
and I can see what is actually being written uh, in the code here. Anyway, we digress. So, whoops. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually save this into my folder structure because you'll notice here that it's called Untitled2 and it's got this little asterisk here which means that the file isn't saved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Save As and I'm going to save this file inside my website folder and I'm going to call it Index. If you're not sure why I'm calling it Index, again you could do a bit of research but you will always call your first uh, page that you want people to come to when they access your website, you need to call that index. So I'm not going to save it in any of the subfolders, I'm just going to save it in the website folder and I'm going to press save. So you can see it's now called index.html and it's saved that file here in the root folder of the website folder. Um, now what I'm going to do, uh, before we do any sort of uh, content building inside my index file, is I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm this time going to create a CSS file. So CSS, press Create. And again, it's called Untitled 3 and it's not been saved, so I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to save it inside my CSS folder. Again, like I said, I put all of my styles in my CSS folder. I'm going to call this, um, I'll probably call this one, just to keep it simple for now, I'm going to call this one text.css and press save. So again, it's called it text.css, which is the file extension that's required to create a CSS file. And you can see that it's saved that in my CSS folder here. Now, as I mentioned previously in the last video, the beauty of CSS mm -hmm. is that I can create all of my styles in here and then link this file to all of the HTML files. And so the first thing I need to do is actually link this file with this file. And there is some code that you can write. Again, if you're not using something like Dreamweaver, um, you can actually write the code. But I'm going to take you through the steps in Dreamweaver and then show you what the code is because Dreamweaver writes it for you. So what I'm going to do is on this index.html file, I'm going to click on this. Um, I'll just minimize this. CSS styles uh, palette here and I'm going to click on this link button. So I'm going to link the index.html to the text.css. So my CSS styles, I'm going to click on the attached style sheet and then go to browse for um, the style sheet which is in my website folder, CSS and there it is. Press choose press OK but before I press that just look what happens when I press OK you'll see that it's going to write some code between this head tag here and this head tag here. So press OK. And there we go. This is the, if I just extend this a little bit, this is the line of code that I need. If I just zoom in here for you. This is the line of code that I need to link this file, uh, which is my index.html, to the text.css. So all it's done is um, it's written a tag called link, if I just zoom out. And what that link tag does is it says, okay, I am index.html, I am this file here, and I want you to link to something. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I am index.html, link to text.css. But I need to first of all tell this file where that file is. And we, we do that by using the href. And that's basically saying, this is the directory, this is where it is I want you to go. And so it starts off by saying, okay, in order to get to this file, I first of all need to browse to this folder. So you've got CSS, and it, that basically is this folder. Now, the slash means go inside CSS. So it picks up that the CSS is a folder, and then it says, right, go inside that folder, go inside that folder of CSS, and then obtain for me or link to the text.css file. So this line of code here, link href css slash text.css means I am index.html, go to the CSS folder and link me to the text.css file. Uh, these pieces of code here are required and you do need to write them, but I'm not going to go into detail about what they are. So as you can see, uh, ha actually having good folder structure is really important because if I didn't have good folder structure um, this directory link would get quite confusing later on. So keep it nice and simple. 
have a folder uh, called CSS inside your main folder and that's where I suggest you store all of your styles. So if we just quickly go over what we've done in this session, we've talked about the importance of folder structure, we've created a folder structure, we've then created a HTML file called index and our first style sheet called text.css. We haven't put anything in this file yet, but what we have done is in the HTML file, we've written one line of code that is required to link this file to the CSS file. In the next video tutorial, we'll go into detail a bit more about how to write CSS um, and the syntax that's required in order to write CSS.